<laughs> oh, your lighting is perfect right where it's at. Don't move. What's going on guys? Uh, back again in Nevada here. We are in the dry lake bed right now, just outside of Las Vegas. And we're gonna shoot some photos of Stuart and his dope Dodge Ram. Uh, it's uh, Excalibur, make sure you check it out. Or is it Excalibur? Excalibur, the license plate says Excalibur, I love it. But yeah, so make sure you check him out on Instagram. What's the Instagram page again? The Excalibur. There you go, the Excalibur. I'll, I'll put it down in the description links as well. So make sure you check check him out. Uh, we come out here to shoot his truck, but while he's here, I wanna shoot some photos of him too, because as you guys know, I am mostly a portrait photographer, but I love shooting automobiles and trucks and stuff like that too. So we're gonna shoot some photos. Uh, Geoff is just off the camera to the right. He's got the Godox AD200, and I got the Niewer NW, or N1T on here with my Sony a7 III and the 70 to 200 F4. So I got the truck set up, the mountain is in the background. So if you just wanna check out the mountain and the setting here, Tim, you got the entire, the mountain in the background. So that's gonna be your background of your shot. So as most of you know that follow me, I always like having a foreground and midground and a background. I try to keep everything a composite style like that. So the mountain's gonna be the background, the truck is gonna be the mid, and then Stuart's gonna be the front on this shot. So I'm gonna shoot a couple with this lens and then I'm gonna switch over to the 16 to 35 and shoot a couple wide angle like that and get some really dramatic because the clouds do look beautiful out here today. So I need to get some of that as well. But right now we're just gonna shoot and have some fun. Jeff is set up with the lighting perfect. Um, so let me just pop a couple here. Yeah, the lighting is perfect. I scoot up this way and then this way a little bit. So you're just in front of it. There we go. Jeff, take a step my way with the lighting. There you go. That looks so killer. Uh, I have the lighting or the light at 1% or one and I should say. Jeff, scoot in a little bit more and then take a step towards me, wrap around him a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Oh wow, killer. It looks so good. I just want to show you what these look like. Cool, I get the back back scene. Oh cool. That's awesome, man. Wow, that takes really good. <laughs> I love that lighting. Yeah. That's epic. So man. what I do uh, for you guys watching YouTube and to me to explain That's it to cool. you, what I do is because it's really sunny out, I drop the shutter speed way low so it's darker. Okay. So then the blue in the background is really nice and blue, but then I overcompensate with a flash to, to light so you up. So it fills in. Yeah, it's, well. it's high speed sync photography is what it is. All right, I'm gonna switch to the 16 to 35 now and try that. A big, uh, like an Octobox. Yep, uh, most of the time I do use those, but with us traveling, there was no way I could get one here. So. And, and I, well, I was gonna go to, there's, yeah, right? A little bit of dust on the screen, on the sensor. Where's my... All right, so I'm gonna put you right Probably right about here, honestly. Okay. Give me a do a drop pose and just stand. stand on Let's just do a stand right now. Okay. Killer. I don't know if I should show you this one or not. This one might have to be a surprise. Okay. Look into the camera? Look um, let's actually have you look over this direction. Okay. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's without the flash. And there's that with flash the flash. really just fills it all in. Yeah. That's awesome. So you guys are seeing it on the screen uh, every time I take a shot, but I'm going to show these guys here too. So, so here's one without the flash. And then here's one with the flash. Oh, dude. Interesting. Dude. It'll show on the screen too. I put them on when I'm post editing. Every photo I take, when you hear the when you hear the click, I'll just put it on the screen. So, okay, I'm gonna do one more here. 
And then I'll take a couple of just the truck. So I'll have you come over here. Um, let's do... You do a walking forward truck shot, rear facing shot. Yeah, we'll do those in a second here. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to have you like go by your truck, kind of put your hand on it. Okay. And just like a chill, like, like you're just kicking it. She warm? I forgot it's a black truck. It's, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably just do that. Yeah, that's good. The, the white was a lot. The first one I took, though, honestly, was pretty killer because you were like. Just right before I start burning you. Oh, okay. <laughs> like you got your hand on quick, and I was like, all right, run with that. I actually, with, I love to just film it myself. with that then, I got an idea. I was actually going to do it with the Mustang, but we'll do it with your truck instead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do, let me switch this. Yeah, I'm not good at that shit. I'm going to like actually film it. Because every time I do that, like, people are like, oh, you just put yourself in my open. I didn't do anyway. I'm not shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I kept trying to get Josh to fly the drone in the winter and like get drone shots of me doing figure eights in the school parking lot. Whoa. Dang. Yeah, but then I like that too. That looks like magazine quality, man. That's so cool. And he hasn't even touched it with his computer. Right. Yeah. Like, but I mean, the better you get at taking photography, it's easier. When oh, I put the wrong lens on. What's that? The better you get at taking the actual photo, the easier it is to post. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the most you can, actually, I should be covering that in the video. Uh, I, there are many photographers, a lot of old school photographers, that believe that everything should be done in the camera. My belief is editing is where the, oh, I should say, photography is where the details are captured. Editing is where your own artistic ability comes from it. So that's why I edit mine the way that I do, because that's where I create my art from it, where it's the, the cartoon, like high contrast detailed look, because that's what sets me apart. And that's in my editing. Now, with that being said, I do literally consider myself a photographer because I get the details right in the camera, which lets me edit so much easier because I'm not trying to capture or bring back blown out highlights or bring up shadows too much. I do shoot underexposed on all my shots. That way I have more room to work with the photos. But with that being said, I try to get the details down and like all the settings as much as I can. That's why I shoot so many. I'll shoot 300 photos, but I only use 10 of them just because I want to make sure that I have as much detail, as much information on that raw file that I can. All right, so now this is going to get a little interesting. No. Oh my um, God, yes. Oh, well, yeah, we, we can for fun, <laughs> but that's not the shot that I'm going with. So, all right. All right, so Stuart, you're gonna come here when you're done munching. Come on, one, one, of, one of your 7,000 meals for the day. All right, so you're gonna stand right here. Jeff, you're gonna take the truck, go down there as far as you can, and just cruise by him. He's, he's in yeah. everything else. Just like same line the truck's on? So, uh, yeah, um, like, well, 10, if you get lights that pop up, don't worry about it. It's all tuned. So, yeah, it's yeah, Stuart, I'm going to have you scoot back. Um, I'm going to have you stand right about here. Give me a drop low while I drive by. <laughs> <laughs> Just B boy stance it. Yeah, I need you right about where you're at now, Jeff. Hey, we'll probably do this like two or three times. Just straight, line. Just straight line, scary close. Good photo. I wish I had a, one more person right now. <laughs> I wish I did. I used to. I don't have a GoPro mount. It's going to be fantastic if it works out right. I can see what picture you want in your mind. Like, I can get those. Hey, kick that dirt up behind you, too. Yeah.
I love seeing my truck like be like outside of it because it's like the coolest thing. And I'm so glad you're filming this because I saw this done by another photographer years ago and I've always wanted to do it, but I've never been in a lake bed like this, so it's like oh, you can tune it too. freaking awesome. All right, pose. Don't move. Yep, don't move. Just right. Do you want to do just a fun pose, or do you want to do an actual pose? It's gonna be. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be pretty close to you. Thank. Over the years, it's it's really become much smoother to me. Like I, when I first started out, I didn't know how to pose anybody at all. Now, now I don't even really still try to pose. They don't know, they don't care right, I still don't try to pose. I more try to. <laughs> yep, getting look, getting spot. So stay looking right at the camera. We're gonna do it one more time. Oh, Let this dust. <laughs> the flash went off on the first one, but not the second one. So, because I have it on multi shot right now, uh, fast, That's like so continuous cool. shot. <laughs> I mean, I definitely can work with this one, but I'd rather you be in focus okay, like that okay. one. Okay, yeah. So, I so, can totally just go like that. <laughs> that was so cool. It worked, but I pre-fired. So on the second shot, so that's the one. That's the lighting I want. Yep. But then that one, the lighting wasn't there. Oh, because the flash. Because the flash doesn't fire that fast. So oh, I'm only going to be able to shoot one time when you go through. So I have to time it just right. So. Uh, All right, here we go. Perfect. I got it. I got it. Awesome. Yeah. Crush that. Crush that. That's all we needed. Look at that. <laughs> it's not. It's, oh, it's got it's that auto shut off yeah, crap. Shut off oh, it's super. That was perfect. Like flash worked and the space. Can you right. turn that auto shut off on on these trucks, or is it just? You can turn it off, but yeah. it's always on there. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I hear my, when I'm like driving, and me and my wife always talk about how like annoying that sound. Like, yeah, right, All right. So that's what we did. That's the shoot. Uh, once again, Sony A7 III. We went through the 70 to 200. I used the 85 millimeter 1.8, and now I have the 16 to 35 f/4 on here. And with the newer N1T transmitter and the Godox AD200 flash set at full power. And then I'm using my three-legged thing tripod, one of the legs as a monopod. So that's what we're doing. That's what we did. Thank you to Stuart for bringing his truck out here. Check him out once again on Instagram. The link's in the description below. That's going to do it for me from the dry lake bed. It's been a lot of fun. And I think I got to play around in this for a little bit. So that's going to be it. Once again, hit that subscribe button, bell notification, and hit that thumbs up if you like this. Leave me a comment and let me know what's going on in your life. Let's make you success. I'll talk to you guys later.